Hey folks, Species7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Car Mechanic 2015. Just uh, have another look around here, our amazing shop. Because I kind of missed a few things. A lot. <laughs> I could swear that, yeah. This looks like standing oil on the floor. That's not a good idea, man. Somebody want to mop this up? S -s Somebody? Hello? No? No, okay. Um, like this, I found this. This is our toolbox. This is how we can do upgrading. Because they did have that in the 2014 version, but it was a little bit different. I kind of like this. That's pretty neat. So we got general tools. So I can sort of speed up your jobs. We've got repair tools. Huh. Hmm. 90%. Oh, I see for when you're at your repair bench. Yeah, because I kind of wondered about that. They seem to have thrown a bit of an RNG in there, like a random number generator. Because the last time you just, in 2014, you simply took something to the repair bench and repaired it. And they charged you a fee. Um, considerably less than buying a new one. So, I see. Okay, that's why they've done that. And then you can buy some examination tools to make life a little easier. So that's the toolbox. I thought that was cool. I thought we'd just show that to you since I kind of found it. Now the repair table we did find the last time and I went to fix something and well I broke it. <laughs> I, yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> moving right along. What else did I find? Well, what that, that intrigued me so much I thought I'd just start going around checking out doors. And I thought, oh well, so much for that because that's the first door I went to. So I came over here and I thought, well, I don't know that I'd be taping these doors off. So this one is path test, and if we look here, well, it tells me that I need 3,000 experience to go in this door. Just when you thought you actually owned the garage, eh? Hmm. And then you got the paint shop. Isn't that intriguing? Check it out. I hope you guys can see it in there. I know YouTube doesn't like dark rooms, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, now I'm really intrigued. But uh, one thing that uh, also kind of over here we have parking but apparently we don't yet have a parking lot so I think that's because like you say that you can only stick so many spaces in here right like you can have one car in your center place only and then I guess you can fire one over on the left if you wanted to work on a car and still bring cars in for jobs like one of your own personal vehicles you can have a working parking lot because yeah that's what this is and again I need to have Wow, 9,000 experience to get that. And then we have the front doors. Ugh, I could use a coffee. Hello? Can I have a number two blurry, please? Hello? No? All right. We have this one, which says exit. I'm going to assume it's the exit. But, check it out. That's pretty scary looking, eh? But anyway, we have the old factory test track, our garage, and an auction center. Pretty neat, eh? And again, I'm not... Uh, guys, we fixed one car, right? We don't get to go play until we actually do some work. So speaking of some work, I see from the little phone symbol on the top of the screen that we have four jobs waiting. So, da -da, let's see what they are. A lack of engine power, list provided. Find and fix any running gear problem list provided. Now, these will e eventually, as you move along a little bit, um, they'll drop this list provided thing, and you will simply have to rely on what you've, you know, learned of the way things work here to get through this. So, um, now we, there's only two of these we can actually take because we don't have either of those. Ooh, that's a sporty looking little thing. Alright, so I guess we'll just uh, repair all gearbox faults. Hmm. Might be a little bit simpler. We know we only have to work on the gearbox. But uh, Oh, that's uh, one of the ones we can't take. A strange noise from the engine, a list provided. Oh, yeah, we got it. I'm sorry. Th this one, for some reason, that one appeals to me. A strange noise. Sounds a bit like a cow. I don't know. I mean, are we going to get to listen to the uh, this this car? Ew! This is a uh, forest green, is it? 
I think that would be pretty much a forest green. Sure. Okay. Oh, by the way, if you want to, you don't have to be like, you know, real pleasant and lift the hood. You can just rip the sucker right off of there, too. I was kind of surprised at that. But yeah, you can. Um, I've already forgotten what it was they wanted us to do. <laughs> I'm so good at this game. Hey, could you get the phone? Thanks. Alrighty, here we are. Strange noise from the engine list provided. Clutch pressure plate. Okay, so we're going to be replacing a clutch pressure plate. Sweet. Now, let's get out of there and let's have a looky at the engine. And I think it's spinning around down there. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm what is that thing? It looked a radar dish, and then I realized that I've got my mouse on the exhaust manifold cover, and we're kind of looking at it. It's just so nice and shiny, right? So, anyway, um, wow, I've already forgotten again what the heck we're supposed to be uh, looking at here. <laughs> I should just shut up. Clutch pressure plate. Oh, all right. So, let's get back out of there then. Uh, which side does it appear that the drive is on? I'm thinking it's going to be this side. That's the gearbox. So... Drive shaft, gearbox, ABS pump, Hmm. Engine block, gearbox. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go around the tire here. Okay, we already had all these off, so we know this isn't going to be our issue. Yeah. Alright, I think what we need to do is uh, go fire up on the whoopsie. <laughs> up on the whoopsie. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> put it up on the left lifter for me, will you? Oh, did we actually have the option to take it out on the test path and try it? Oh man. We could have done that just to see what the funky noise was. Oh well, if they give us the option next time, we will. Alright, Mr. Carr. Whoops. The uh, mouse controls for walking around I find to be a little bit... Uh... Okay, why are you stuck on suspension? I don't want suspension, dude. Said I could get at this from under the engine. Or on the hoist, I mean. So, how the heck do I get out of the engine from the hoist? Suspension, suspension, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm, well, that's kind of weird. Why did it tell me I could get at that end of things from down here? That's all suspension. Oh, you mean I gotta remove all of the suspension? Is that what you're telling me? That's scary, man. That is really, really scary. Oh, I'm in this is I wanted examine mode. No wonder it's uh, no, no, back you go. I'm sorry, that's what we wanted. Can be examined by carrying out a test drive. Oh, I see. Okay, well. Maybe that is the route we gotta go with this one then. Let's check that out, shall we? And I suppose I should have closed the hood before I put it up on the lift by all rights. So. 
Alright, well this could be a total disaster because I have never done this before. So, now, we're going to move the vehicle to... Oh, well I can't put it on the test path. That's not open to me yet. Alright, so that isn't it. That's a little weird. Okay. again. understand how they expect me. <laughs> Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. Ugh. I had no idea it would do that. I thought you actually had to hold it, you just click it and it goes. So... That reminds me, last time around, we uh, had a bunch of stuff that we should have sold. And we did not at the end of the last job. So I've got an inventory with about 700 bucks worth of stuff here. <laughs> or 700 pounds, I should say, worth of stuff in my coveralls. And... Uh, I think before we add to it, I'm going to uh, get rid of what I can. Okay, that's brand new. I remember saying, geez, we don't even have no money after doing all that work. And, uh, there we go. That's probably going to help. <laughs> At least we're back over more money than what we started with. Well, thank you. Okay. So, anyway. <laughs> oh, boy, I tell you. Now, let's uh, take our caliper off, shall we? Okay. Now, see, we've got to be able to get at this. And it says that we can do that from under the car. So I'm figuring, and I may be wrong, but I'm a figuring we got to be taking this end stuff out. There we go. Okay. I do like the fact that the camera does kind of, uh, I don't know that it actually, whoops. The only thing I don't like, as I say, is it's a bit fast. Oof, and sometimes it doesn't let you back out. Whoa, okay. Every once in a while, you just sort of got to go stop it. There we go. Okay, now. So the thing that I think is really in our way here. Only this thing. I guess I can't really zoom out any more than that from here. Hmm. Or is that just no more stuff I can reach from down here? I think might be what it is. So, 
Let's now throw it up on the hoist. Ow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, let's see what we got here. Lower suspension arm. Are we in the right side? Yes, we are. Okay, I think this is the next one we want to pop off of there. Guy out. Now are we ready? Still not, eh? No way. Eh? Hmm. It's not that. Ah. Okay. No, I don't want the oil pan. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks anyway, man. Oil filter? No. What I want is this. Darn it. How the heck do I get at that? Why can I not get at that? Uh oh. It keeps going to the oil pan. You mean I've got to pull the oil pan? You suck. At least you don't have to crawl over to the other side of the car, right? Eh? You got the old magic rubber wrench. Okay. Can I get at it yet? No. How the heck am I supposed to get this darn gearbox out? Oh no. Really? <laughs> Gonna let me do it unless I lower the car back to the ground, eh? Alrighty. So let's pull this. And I'm sure half of you are looking at me going, you dummy, what the heck makes you think what you're after is even there? <laughs> And I'm going to give you the most honest answer I can, folks. Absolutely nothing. See, I'll tell you, I've had a lot of vehicles. And uh, I have more than my fair share of work on them. But what I do, as soon as I get a vehicle, is I waddle down to the local Canadian Tire. There we go. I think we're good now, guys. And I grab myself a Haynes manual because that's got the entire disassembly of your entire vehicle in it. And with armed with that, all right, how in the now you guys said I could get at it from here. All right, I guess I gotta go into zoom in. No, I still can't, huh? Wow, man. Why? Say why? Hmm. This is truly, truly annoying. I see absolutely no reason you should not be able to pull that darn thing off. Nothing holding it from the inside. And I don't see a darn thing turn green here that says you should take this out. Whoa. <laughs> K 
Okay, the camera tends to get a little out of... Yeah. Every once in a while, it's like the camera just forgets where the heck it is. So, there doesn't seem to be any way to get at that. So, what the heck's going on here? Accessible from under the car. Oh, for God's sake. Surely it's not just getting the battery out of the way. Hmm? Yeah, I don't need to start taking all that stuff out for a gearbox. Come on, people. Oh, I have an idea. Do I see one? See, there's likely... Eh, that sure ain't gonna do it. But, there is likely a hoist. Well, not a hoist, as it are. A type of a jack. Um, okay, there's my oil bucket. Yeah, there's usually a... Garage customization, that's not what I'm after. There's usually a type of jack that you put up underneath the gearbox because the darn thing is so god-awful heavy that if you unscrew it, it would immediately drop to the floor. And I don't see such an animal. So that may not be it. Hmm. Yeah. Alright. Wow. See, and that's all it will point to under here is suspension. Oh, really? Is it because this... Oh, the starter? Are you serious? Yep. yuck for a moment and then back underneath there we go gearbox and there's our clutch bearing there's the clutch plate Ooh, gotta take the pressure plate off first, of course. 27%. Alright, we don't need the flywheel, that's for sure. Alright, let's have a look here. They wanted... I find this odd that you can't just open that anywhere. Now, it's just the pressure plate they want us to replace. So let's do so, shall we? Let's go over here and get a clutch pressure plate. Mr. Computer Police. Car part shop. Uh, I'm going to assume engine. No, no, it's a rusty looking thing. <laughs> Uh, dee 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 dee. Flywheel. Oh, we're getting the right area anyway. Oh, not anymore. It was looking good there for a minute. Ooh, some fancies. Hmm. <laughs> no? Alrighty. I guess we're supposed to be looking at running gear. Luckily enough, it does have a search function. Now oh, here we are. Clutch pressure plate. Yes, please. <laughs> I do like that. 
Good for you guys. Alrighty. Armed with our happy, happy Joy Joy. Oh, I should have tried to fix it. Oh, well, we still have the old one, don't we? Because, I mean, that's got to be good practice, right? Which one of these is the real bench? The money repair bench. There. Yeah. Okay. Hell, yeah, what's this? Lower suspension arms. Oh, I see. Nope. Not what I wanted. Thank you. Okay. Now, we... And assembly mode, please. Mode 2. There we go. <laughs> yes, please. There we go. One brand newie. I'm sure that that will clear our job. So we're done. I hoped everybody enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <clears throat> I don't think that'll be much of a way to run a business. Okay. Yes, sir. Put that gearbox back on there, baby. I wonder if this is the same one we're going to get in next job that needed the gearbox taken apart. <laughs> there we go. Now, at this point, we need to back out, pop her down, throw the starter back in, and I suppose anything else we can manage. Uh, dee 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 dee. There we go. Woo wee! All right, two starter. There we are. Seventy-eight percent. In you go. Nice. Doesn't that make you so happy? What else we got? Well, we can put the battery back in. And. Alright, I think the rest of it again now. Yeah. Do 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 do. Back to suspension biddies until it's time to throw the tires on. <laughs> and assemble mode, please. Oh, the oil pan. Alright, yes, that one will do quite fine because I didn't have another. Speaking of oil pans, you can let me put the oil filter on from here? Yes, they will. <laughs> and then we can throw in the front drive o shaft, though. We can throw on in the lower suspension arm. Yeah, in you go. In you go. And tighten that down. And we can now. Oopsie. Eh, it's getting all scary again. Okay. That's not what I want. There we go. Oh, I don't want disassemble. I want assemble, please. Assembly mode, suspension. Put the catalytic back in. I know what we got here. There it is. And front drive axle C. Well, they're not in the greatest shape. back on. Thank you. Alrighty. It's weird, eh? How one side seems to be in way better shape than the other set. Oh, I get, well, I don't know. It wouldn't have been caused by a clutch plate. Alrighty. Anything else I can get at while I'm down here? There we go, I can put that guy back in. 
nice. And just about. Oh, come on. You let me have it a second ago. Where'd you go? Whoa, baby. Right there. All right. Let's throw that one in. <laughs> Okay, let me out of here for a sec. Around the other side a little bit. Do do do. Oh, we want assembly mode. And where's the other? Drive shaft piece. Come on. One that goes to this wheel, is that not next? Is that not where we are? Man. Ah, oh, this underneath it part kind of makes me a little weirdly. But. Alright, what am I missing here? Let's have a look in our inventory. Ah, uh, we've got this guy. Yeah, front drive axle, this is what I'm wondering. Ah. The other suspension arm. Hmm. Where the heck is it? pointing to the body suspension oh I see hmm I was not aware of that now I am you uh, need to do that in the right order because I backed out and then went back underneath the car I actually had to let it know again that I was doing the suspension still and that's where I was getting my problems and I know this other bushing goes up in one of these corners come on ah hmm Odd. Well, it's just I know I've got a uh, another bushing to go in, and I just can't figure out where I took it out, and that sucks. That truly, truly sucks. Ah, there it is. Yes. Ha 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 ha. Yay. Alrighty. Oof, gotta come out of there for a sec. How's our inventory looking now? Alright. Okay, that's what I thought. We can drop this baby back down. And... Get into assemble mode. And pop all of these goodies back on. Well, I'll tell you, that darn little starter had me going for a while. Okay. And how <coughs> oh sorry folks <coughs> and I'm afraid that cold is still plaguing me <coughs> so that I believe mm-hmm 
is going to be that. Finish the job. <coughs> no oil in the engine. Oh. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> of course, we took the oil pan off. <laughs> oh boy. <coughs> Where are we here? Uh, oil filler cap. He must have one. Nope. Oh, okay. Wonder how you know when it's full. Saw the dipstick, there it is. And we are right between min and max. Hey, not bad. <coughs> Perfect. So we uh, we did put that back in, didn't we? Yes, we did. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, it just automatically puts it back in. All right, so. Uh, Let's try that now. Finish the job. There we go. And we can sell this guy for the whole seventeen dollars. Well, we don't make very bloody much. I'm gonna have to sell this. There we go. Just to make it look like we've actually made something. We've had the shop open. We've done two vehicles. We've made sixty bucks. The heck is that? <laughs> oh well. So, there you go, that's another vehicle done. Not the smoothest operation in the world, but that little starter kind of threw me for, uh, yeah, a sus prize. I did, I did not expect it to be there. Hmm. Oh well, there you go. You learn something new every darn day. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Next time around, we'll see what we can, uh, punk it about on. And uh, I'll try to disassemble only what needs disassembled. <laughs> and leave no parts awry. So, till then, please hit that like button if you would, guys. I'd super appreciate it. And uh, take care of each other, folks. Ciao for now.